Okay, 3D Dreamers, good morning. Um, as I promised this morning, I was going to post a uh, tutorial now to create a very quick uh, light setup in uh, V-Ray for Rhino. So we got our scene here. It's very simple. What I basically did, I just dropped some um, um, spheres uh, and I textured them. Uh, I been using two uh, squared lights to light up the scene and I've been using a uh, fillet box to uh, to um, to actually uh, create the studio setup so we are going to build everything from scratch again and uh, let's see what um, uh, what we can do by the way I'm going to use Rhino 5 and uh, V-Ray uh, 2.0 for this so basically I'm just gonna um, delete this and delete the lights well the spheres are just you know normal spheres uh, anybody can make a sphere if you don't know how to do it just go to the uh, solid tab here in the corner and just create a sphere so basically what I did then I textured them and I changed the properties of the sphere so that you can see the color with which they are rendered by going to this button here holding the left click um, and then clicking on this little icon here set object shading attributes mode rendered and there that's how you change the uh, the display uh, view um, let's build the uh, studio setup so I'm just gonna make a box extrude it up and then with shift and control at, uh, pressed at the same time I'm going to select the faces of this box and hit delete then what I'm going to do I'm going to say fillet edge and I'm going to choose a radius let's say maybe of 10 let's see what this will give us yeah that might be good okay the box it's intersecting all the, the spheres so let's move it lower and um, let's give it a material now here I prepared the uh, materials already um, what I'm going to do I'm going to create them uh, from scratch so that you can see how easy it is to create a material with V-Ray so let's go to scene material right click create material standard let's call these uh, 3D D, um, spheres there you go so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a layer reflection layer and let's see what we got okay so this is a um, a uh, grayish color with a little bit of personal reflection what I'm going to do I'm going to click on the M beside the uh, color tab and I'm going to look for um, a Fresno uh, effect and at the parallel color I'm going to choose a um, purple kind of color and let's say on the perpendicular I'm going to go for let's try something weird maybe a yellowish color okay let's see what we got okay so you can see pro I'm not sure you can see it but you know the main color um, on uh, this material it's purple and there is some sort of like a uh, yellowish um, color on the side kind of like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to select all the spheres right click and say apply material to selection so now all the spheres are rendered but apparently doesn't really display the right color let's see if uh, if this is correct let's just try with a test render yeah seems like it's fine and then I'm going to do the same for the, the the background I already created it here but let's create it again from scratch standard let's call it scene and let's say create layer reflection and let's change the color we don't need a friend a first note for this so let's just make it white and what we want for the background we don't want the reflections to be super sharp so we are going to put down the highlights and the reflections let's try it it looks better and let's set this apply material to selection and let's go to the view that we saved set view 
one if you don't know how to save the view basically what you have to do you have to pan around with your camera then right click set view name views you're gonna get this little tab save the view and you can click the name the the the, the name of the view that you want to save in this case I'll make two but I'm going to go back to one so double click on the window and there it is so if I now do a test render let's see what we got okay the image seems to come out it's a little bit dark as you can see but uh, no problem we are just going to add some lights to do that I'm gonna go to the light tab and select uh, rectangular light and there we go let's turn it towards that direction let's put it closer maybe a little bit higher and let's duplicate this light so I select both lights and I'm gonna go to the uh, properties there they are and say maybe the intensity 5 uh, that this light is invisible subdivisions 32 800 photon subdivisions and I guess that's it so let's go back to our view and see what happened okay so we can see that the light it's already lighter um, maybe what I'm going to do I'm going to pause it and see the uh, result when it's ready okay so don't go away I'll be back in a few seconds okay so uh, we are basically I think five minutes in um, the rendering it's almost uh, ready uh, what's gonna happen is that um, Oh, look at that, how beautiful is it with all the reflections and everything. Yeah, and then you can see the little shade of like yellowish becomes almost orange when meeting the purple. Um, but yeah, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Photoshop and add the logo, uh, which is, you know, very simple. Um, one thing that I just realized is that we didn't really look at the... Um, at the rendering setup so what I'm going to do I'm just going to show them to you whilst we finish uh, rendering so to look at the um, rendering setup let's just go to the offer option and uh, basically what I changed was in the indirect illumination I just changed the um, uh, usually comes to brute force uh, the, the the normal setups are set on brute force I just changed it into light cache and that's all I did. I didn't change the irradiance map settings or the light cache settings. As you can see, they're all very uh, low in quality. But uh, to my opinion, um, V-Ray does a very good job already with the uh, normal settings. And I uh, asked for the ambient occlusion to be on. Uh, let's see if I changed anything into the uh, environment. No, the image sampler is also very low. so don't bother with that uh, that's enough to get you started uh, eventually you know if you want to find out a little bit more about you know um, um, renderings and uh, post-production techniques um, I work <coughs> very close with the guys from flying architectures uh, they are extremely good at this I mean I'm a beginner in compared in comparison to uh, what they do um, and we organize a lot of workshops with them um, we also do a lot of stuff with the uh, parametric modeling one of one of our latest um, workshops is the um, the uh, winter school in Bratislava I'm going to post links uh, in the description below um, I am pretty sure that you guys will find this uh, very interesting okay so keep us on um, uh, uh, keep on following us and uh, we will see each other on the uh, on the community online on Facebook and wait for the launch of our new website this is going to be epic you guys have a good day um, yeah, we'll talk soon.